Hello everyone, we have been learning lots of things in a part 1 as well as in part 2 and today in a part 3rd we will discuss on a very important topic which is belonging from a skeletal system of human beings. Today we will learn the 3 important concepts. Number 1, function of skeletal system. Number 1, function of skeletal system. As well as second point, various kinds of joints. Second joint and last one muscles. So these three points today we have been covering in this last session of human skeleton system. Today we will discuss on these three important points. Number one, function of skeletal system. Skeletal system के कौन-कौन से functions हैं, कार्य कौन-कौन से हैं, वो आज हम इस point में cover करेंगे. Next, joints and last one, muscles. Different kind of functions are performed by the skeletal system of human being. In this point, we cover work done by the skeletal system of human being. In the last part, we, we have learnt about the structure of skeletal system as well as various kinds of various types of bones as well as smallest bones and largest bones. But today we learn a very important concept that is function of skeletal system. Skeletal system ka sabse mahatwapurna kaari. Skeletal system ka kaari kya hota hai? So today we will discuss. Point number one, it gives shape, strength and support to the body. Main function of the skeletal system is that to give strength. Yani chanta to give us strength, give us shape, aka and a support, aha to our body. That means main function of skeletal system to give us support to our body. Point number second, it protects the delicate internal organs like the brains, heart, lungs. It protects these kind of vital organs like brain, spinal cord heart and lungs. Point number three, it helps to move our body with the help of muscles. That means, wo hamare shariir ki movement, halsa, kudar kudar patakna kaun karte muscles kudara? Skeletal system. Last point, point number four, bones help in the information of red blood cells, yani RBCs. Bones help in the information of RBCs. RBCs kahan pe paaye jate hain? Where is found of the RBCs? RBCs, yani red blood cells found inside of the bone in our blood. Due to the presence of red blood cells in our blood, we found that our blood is in a red color. Due to this reason, uh, the color of our blood is Red. So, bones के अंदर RBCs होने के कारण ही skeletal system में हम RBCs को पहचान सकते हैं. So, bones help in the information of RBCs. Next point, joints. The place where two bones meet is called a joint. The bones are joined together by strong tissues called ligaments. Joint may be movable or immovable. All the joints are movable except skull. Bones move smoothly at the joints because of the presence of fluid which acts like a lubricant. The bones of skull do not allow any movement because they are interlocked. Movable joints are of the following four kinds, ball and socket joints, hinge joints, 
pivot joints and gliding joint next point joints the place where two bones meet is called a joint aisi jagah jahan pe do bones join hote do bones join hote is called as a joint the place where two bones meet is called a joint second bones are joined together by strong tissues called ligament consider two bones are joined together with strong tissues then what are the tissues tissues kya hai tissues are the group of cells it is called as tissues hum use kya karte bones are joined together by strong tissues called ligament hum use ligament kehte hain next third point joints may be movable or immovable kuch joints aise bhi hain jinki movement ki ja sakti hai aur kuch aise bhi hain jinki movement nahi ki jati hai like a skull next point we have covered next all the joints are movable sabhi joints movable hai except kise chhod kar skull yani manavi khopdi ko chhod ke sabhi joints मूवेबल है ऑल जॉइंट्स आर मूवेबल एक्सेल स्कल नेक्स्ट पॉइंट नंबर फिफ बोन्स मूव स्मूथली एट द जॉइंट्स जॉइंट के यहां पे बोन्स स्मूथली मूव होते बिकॉज किसकी वजह से ऑफ द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फ्लूड व्हिच एक्ट्स लाइक अ लुब्रिकेंट वी ऑब्जर्व दैट हमने गाड़ियों को या फिर साइकिल को ऑयल करते देखा है it works like a lubricants as it is bones move smoothly hamare haddiyan kuch smoothly halke se move hoti hai kiski wajah se because of the presence of fluid ek aisa liquid part hota hai it acts like ki wo aisa karya karta hai jaise ki lubricant gaadi mein karya karta hai as it is point number 6 bones of skull maani khopdi ke haddiyan do not allow any movement because manavi kopdi ke andar paaye jaane wale bones se unme movement nahi hoti kyun nahi hoti because they are interlocked they are interlocked with each other due to this reason except human skull bones are not movable next point number 7 movable joints are of the following four kinds only movable bones ke types kiye just we have to read point number 1 ball and socket joint next hinge joint third point pivot joints and last one gliding joints ball and socket joint this type of joint is found in hips and shoulders this joint is formed when the round end of a bone fits into the hole or socket of another bone it allows movement in all directions for example so we can swing our arms almost in all directions next point point number 1 ball and socket joint it is also a belonging from a movable joints point number 1 this type of joint is found in hips and shoulder so these kind of joints are found in the hips as well as in shoulder observe this diagram carefully this diagram shows that the occurrence of ball or a socket joint in a human body next point this joint is formed when the round end of a bone fits into the hole that means a round end of bone is fits into the socket and of another bone so uh, i have to draw a one picture for the better understanding i have drawn a diagram consists of ball as well as the socket that means consider this ball is fits into this socket so these kind of joints are occurs in our hips as well as in our shoulders so last third point 
it allows movements in all the directions example we can swing our arms we can swing our arms almost in all directions that means we can move our arms uh, almost 360 degree so practically i would like to show you how our arms are move all directions in a 360 direction so observe movements of my arms carefully i stretch my both arms and i swing my both arms in clockwise direction as well as in anti clockwise direction so let's observe clockwise direction as well as anti clockwise direction again we can swing our right hand clockwise as well as anti clockwise due to the presence of ball or shock socket joints in our shoulder understood due to this reasons it allows movements in all the directions example we can swing we can swing our arms almost in all directions due to the presence of ball or shocked joints in our hips as well as in our shoulder next point hinge joints these joints are like the hinges in a door they allow movements of the bones in one direction that is either upward or downward these are joints are found in elbows fingers knees and toes so i would like to show you a practically hinges of a door second point hinge joints these joints are like the hinges in a door so let's watch hinges of a door practically this is a door observe this door carefully this door is attached by hinges in due to the presence of hinges it moves forward as well as backward direction second point they allow movement of the bones in only one direction not the 360 rotations so consider observe my elbow i can move my elbow from one side to the another side that means from the starting position up to the end position it is a limit to move my elbow next point number third these joints are found in our elbows fingers knees and toes hinge joints are occurs in our elbow fingers knees and toes next joint pivot joint before going towards the pivot joint you have to observe this neat label diagram shows that the various types as well as various names of hinge joints next third pivot joints this joint found in a knee in our human being in a knee pivot joint is present second the skull is connected to the upper most vertebra of the spine with the help of pivot joint using the pivot joint our skull is attached to the our knee third point this joint helps us to move our head upward as well as downward and sideways due to the presence of pivot joint in our neck we can move our neck in upward direction as well as in downward direction as well as in both side directions both side ways observe the diagram showing the pivot joints last joint gliding joint this type of joint is found in wrists ankles and between any two vertebra of the backbone it allows bones to slide against each other the last type of movable joints number four gliding joint point number one this type of joint is found in wrists ankles and between any two vertebra of the backbone this type of joints are occurs in our wrists as well as ankles and between two 
वर्टिब्रास और बैकबोन हमारे पिछले बैकबोन के टू वर्टिब्रास के बीच में ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट्स पाए जाते हैं नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इट अलाउज द बोन्स टू स्लाइड अगेंस्ट ईच अदर एंड आवर बैक टू बेंड एंड ट्विस्ट एंड टर्न एट ईच जॉइंट सो ऑब्जर्व द रेस्ट ऑफ माइंड आप मेरा रिस्ट देख सकते हैं आई कैन मूव दिस रिस्ट अपवर्ड टू द इन अ अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन एज वेल एज इन अ डाउन डायरेक्शन आल्सो आई कैन रोटेट माय रिस्ट क्लॉकवाइज एज वेल एज एंटी क्लॉकवाइज सो दैट मींस इन अ आवर रिस्ट व्हिच जॉइंट इज प्रेजेंट ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट इज प्रेजेंट ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट इन माय रिस्ट वी कैन मूव माय रिस्ट in sideways also in a direction of clockwise element as well as in upward direction as well as in downward direction understood so observe this diagram of gliding joint carefully muscles the bones cannot move without muscles muscles are made up of tough elastic tissues they are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons there are about 650 muscles in our body and each of them performs a particular function muscles work by pulling the bones they cannot push the bones so at least two separate muscles are required to move a bone I would like to draw a picture of movements of muscles. Everybody observe this diagram carefully. Biceps and triceps work in pair by repeatedly contraction and expansion. The last and important point of this chapter is skeletal system of human being. The last type of muscles and their types. Point number one. Bones cannot move without muscles. Without muscles, bones are not able to move anywhere. Second point: muscles are made up of tough elastic tissues. The main formation of muscles due to the presence of tough elastic tissues. Tough elastic tissues के वजह से muscles तैयार होते हैं. But what about tissues? What are the tissues? so we describe about the tissues tissues are the group of cells are called tissues number 3 tendons the so definition of tendons tissues are attached to the bones by strong fibers called tendons tissues yani a group of cells are attached to the bones tissues bones ko yani haddiyon ko attach hote hain by strong fibers are called tendons tissues are attached to the bones by strong fibers are called tendons fourth next point 650 muscles present in our body total number of muscles are present in our body the number 650 last second last point for each muscles perform a particular function so 150 muscles in different kinds of muscles perform different kinds of functions har ek muscle isko alag alag tarike ke unke karya kaam diye gaye hain last six muscles works by pulling the bones they cannot push the bones muscles work by pulling bones they cannot push the bones
Types of muscles. Our body has three types of muscles: voluntary or skeletal muscles, involuntary or smooth muscles, and last one, cardiac muscles. The voluntary muscles, the muscles that are under our control, are called voluntary muscles. Example: muscles in our arm and legs. And involuntary muscles means uh, the muscles that work but are not under our control are called involuntary muscles. Example: muscles in our stomach and intestine. Cardiac muscles are also a type of involuntary muscles. It is found in the wall of the heart. Last point of this chapter: types of muscles, various kinds of types of muscles. Of, of muscles, muscles ke many three types. There are three main types of muscles. Number one, voluntary or skeletal muscles. Voluntary means controllable. The muscles that are under our control are called voluntary muscles. The muscles are belonging from controllable muscles are called voluntary muscles. Which ऐसे muscles हैं जिनके ऊपर हमारा control यानी नियंत्रण होता है. Examples: muscle in our arms, हमारे हाथों में पाए जाने वाले muscles and लेग्स हाथों और पाओ में पाए जाने मसल्स को हम वॉलेंट्री मसल्स कहते हैं ऑब्जर्व दिस डायग्राम ऑफ वॉलेंट्री मसल्स नेक्स्ट पॉइंट इन वॉलेंट्री और स्मूथ मसल्स इन वॉलेंट्री मींस अनकंट्रोलेबल मसल्स द मसल्स दैट वर्क कुछ ऐसे मसल्स हैं जो काम तो करते हैं बट आर नॉट अंडर आवर कंट्रोल लेकिन वो हमारे नियंत्रण में नहीं होते दे आर नॉट कंट्रोल इन अवर हाइट्स आर कॉल इन वॉलेंट्री मसल्स फॉर एग्जांपल्स मसल्स इन आवर स्टमक एंड इन द स्पाइन हमारे पेट में पाए जाने वाले मसल्स को हम इन वॉलेंट्री और स्मूथ मसल्स को कहते हैं कंसीडर सडनली आई फिनिश्ड माय डिनर अभी भी मैंने रात का खाना खाया है एंड आई वांट टू गिव इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू माय स्टमक अब मैं हमारे स्टमक को इंस्ट्रक्शन दूंगा प्लीज डोंट डाइजेस्ट फूड इज इट पॉसिबल अगर मैंने मेरे पेट को कहा कि फूड को डाइजेस्ट हजम नहीं करना है इट इज इन आवर हैंड नो ऑब्वियसली नो सो ड्यू टू दिस रीजन दिस काइंड ऑफ मसल्स आर नोन एज इनवॉलेंट्री और स्मूथ मसल्स नेक्स्ट लास्ट टाइम कार्डियक मसल्स These muscles are again as a type of involuntary muscles. वो भी हमारे control में नहीं होते. But these kind of muscles found in the wall of heart. हमारे रीढ़ की outermost wall में cardiac muscles पाए जाते हैं. Cardiac muscles are occurs in outermost wall or shell of a our human being heart. Next, cardiac muscles work. Throughout our life, I never get tired. So everybody, write down these three types of muscles in your notebook, and also observe the all figures, diagrams of voluntary and skeletal muscle, you know, involuntary and smooth muscle and cardiac muscles below.